Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a digital Archimbaldo food base. The first option is to use this website. Your teacher will give you a link to help you get here. The other option is to use this website. I'm going to show you how to use both. So we're going to start right here. And you can drag any of these items over to the middle. So let's say I want to start with broccoli. That's kind of small, right? I can hold down the shift button and touch, and it will make my broccoli bigger. Then I pick another item, click and drag, and shift. And then I need eyes maybe, hmm, I'm going to use orange. Shift and drag, click, shift and drag. I'm going to do a pupil. Hmm, I think I need a nose now. What kind of nose would be nice? Um, this radish would be kind of fun. And then I'm going to do this kiwi slice for a mouth. Wow, that looks pretty good. I even have room for a neck now. So what if I did some celery for a neck? <laughs> Might need to be a little bit bigger. All right, and so now my food fit, excuse me, now my food face is finished. If you'd like to print this so you can hang it up on your wall, you're going to go Control P for print. Okay, there it is. You can hit print and it will print and then your teacher will help you cut this out and glue it onto construction paper or hang it up on the wall. If you'd like to print this, you're going to push the control button and then P for print. This will pop up and you'll just select print. After it prints out, you can take scissors and cut out your food face and glue it to another sheet of white paper or to a sheet of construction paper. Then you and your teacher can decide if you guys would like to hang it up. This is the other program you can use to make a food face. You can find this link or your teacher can give it to you. Once there, you're going to click on start. Now the music can get to be a little bit annoying, so you just click on the music note to get it to go away. Then you get to decide what you want your food face to look like. I'm going to start with eggs. I click, drag, and click again. I can make it bigger or smaller by clicking these arrows. I can also rotate it by clicking these arrows. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller so they're not touching like that. And then I can pick something to be in the middle. I'm going to pick this olive. Click, drag, and click again. Click, drag, click again. I need a nose. Oh, I like that banana nose. And maybe a face. A piece of bacon would make a great face. <laughs> and I can rotate it too if I want it to be more like that. This. I kind of like it like that though. I'm going to do ears. My ears are going to be these pretzels, so I'm going to have to rotate them and resize them a little bit because they're a little bit big. And I'm going to add another pretzel, rotate it, and resize it. And maybe I need some earrings. I'm going to have a cherry earring. That's pretty funny. And another cherry earring. And I can flip it. Flip, flip, or rotate it. All right, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to finish my food face and then come back and show you how to save. Okay, now I'm ready to save or print. So what I do is I click right here on the print button, print, and I have two options. I can either just go ahead and print it, right? And then I can print it, cut it out, and then glue it to a sheet of construction paper. Or I could choose right here where it says print, I can choose change. And if I pick save as PDF, I can save it as a file to my computer. So it's your choice and your teacher will show you how to do that. I'm gonna print mine. 
So print. And there we go. And that's all there is to it to making a digital Arcimbaldo food paste.